Assistant Commissioner of Police, Minister Michael Smith. ACP Minister Michael Smith would have been here this morning due to circumstances beyond his or our control. He's not able to be here. We thank him for the groundwork that he has done. Uh, spare a thought and a prayer for ACP Michael Smith. Amen. Evangelist, Pastor Philbert Wynn, put your hands together. Make him welcome. Come on, give Jesus praise. Send hands to me. Come on. Lift up your hands. Lift up your voice. Come on, lift up your hands. Lift up your voice. And give Jesus a praise. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let's affect the atmosphere with your praise. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Glory, glory, glory. Want to quickly greet my spiritual father this morning, Bishop Dr. Davis and his wife, uh, Minister Dr. Petrova Davis and the PFM team. I want you to give them a great big God bless you. Come on, say that's me. Let's welcome the team. Glory to God. Amen, amen. Let's get into the word. Anybody love the word of God? Anybody love the word of God? Hallelujah. The text was read this morning from Psalm chapter 33 and verse 8 or 6 to 12. And my focus verse this morning is verse 12. Hear what verse 12 says. And I want everybody to repeat this with me. Say, blessed is the nation. I want to hear a little louder. Say, blessed is the nation. Whose God is the Lord. And the people. Whom he has chosen. For his own. Inheritance. Just the first line again. Blessed is the nation. Whose God is the Lord. I want us to declare. A blessing over Jamaica this morning. Come on lift up your voice. And I want in spite of all. That is happening in this nation. I want the devil to know. That God is blessing this nation. And God is about. To bless this nation. I have. I have a mini flag. In my hands. And when you look around this truck. You see the national colors. Just a few days ago, and we're still in the era's week. And, 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 and some, some many years ago, 1962, we would have gained independence. And I believe that before independence, God put a word in the scripture. He said, blessed is the nation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. That verse simply means that if God is Lord, the nation is blessed. Help me. If God is Lord, the nation is blessed. Can we go the opposite? If God is not Lord, the nation is not blessed. In other words, you can't get blessing from anywhere else but through Jesus. Talk back to me. And this is why this truck is going across the nation to declare Jesus is Lord. Talk to me somebody. We don't care what else is in the territory. We are telling every demons. We are telling every devil. We are telling every witch. We are telling every wizard. We are telling every root worker. Every rich worker. Every blood sucker. Every blood sprinkler. Talk to me Satan. Jesus is Lord. Yeah. Listen, the church have a responsibility to sit to it. Jesus. To sit to it yes. that God is Lord. Y'all better help me. Not the politician. My God. Jesus is Lord. I need God to bless Jamaica. That's why 1961, before independence, a preacher went on his knees and prayed a prayer that become the best anthem in the whole wide world. What did the preacher pray? Eternal, Eternal Father. Come 
sent and come make me pray the little line there eternal father bless bless Jamaica bless sent and bless Portmore bless Spanish on and I help me we need a blessing lift up your hands and say eternal father bless my neighbor yeah you know want your neighbor best look at you too look at your neighbor and say neighbor I don't know about you but I need a blessing in my nation I need a blessing in my community I need a blessing in my family I need a blessing in my church Jesus how how you going to get the blessing God must be Lord Jesus must be Lord Jesus. so look here if we're going to take the nation back to God we have to find out who have it and then I help me I know some of you going vex we have to take the nation back from who have it because Jamaica has some little God down here. Mm -hmm. I said Jamaica has some little God who want worship and want to take the place of God. But I declare in my hometown, I declare in my home community, Jesus is Lord. So, give me five or so minutes. Let us take the nation back from some people. Yes. Take it back from politicians. Jesus. You see how them vex now? Take it back from green. Take it back from orange. You're not saying anything. Touch your neighbor, neighbor and say, neighbor, God is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Not politicians. Not the MP. Jesus. You know why? MP make promise. And after five years, if so long, we not see nothing. Some of the biggest speech. When them want the vote, them find you. Anywhere you live. Don't a gully. Cross the water, up the hill, through the bush, under the wire fence, them find you. And when them come, two pound of rice, two pound of flour, one tin mackerel, one tin of milk, one sardine, big chilla hail. Oh, some of you don't know they're big chilla hail. And them talk to you. But as soon as them get the vote the only place you see them upon TV and when them talk to you upon TV Bishop them are going to run the outer center when them talk to you upon TV you can't understand unless you have one dictionary right now. but I wonder if there's anybody in Sentenceville who can be agree with me that we have a God who keep his promises we have a God yeah. who put 365 promises in this book. Sentan, you know what that means? If 365 promises is in the book, it means that we have a promise for every day. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, Jesus is Lord. Who over Jamaica? So take back Jamaica from politician. All right, let me leave that alone so you, you can still call to me when you see me. We have to take Jamaica back from gunman. Jesus. Come on. Jesus. We have to pray for the policeman, them, you know, because them life upon the line. But you have some little man in Jamaica. Bishop just two days ago, right above where my church is in Brownstone, my God, drive by shooting. We never hear about that ascent, and we never hear about that nowhere else but town. 
One time people say we're afraid for God. Boom. Right to Orange Hill. Five was shot. One fatal. Talk back to me. But we're going to challenge them in the name of Jesus. That one day your M16 are going to run out. One day your 45 are going to run out. One day whatever you have are going to run out. But this morning we pull up in here with a gun. Can I bust two shots out of this? John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Can I bust two more? But God, Romans 5 8. But God commended his love for us in that while we were yet sinners Christ died church people need to change with attitude God, we go along like say, from the day we get saved God now saved nobody else you too but it no matter who you are, even if you are a gunman, Christ died for you. And some of we don't want to testify. But the Bible says, and such were some of you. Bishop, some of we did bad, you know. See that necktie and that vest suit where them are wear? Them did bad. Well, I agree. Some of we used to run road. Not your neighbor and say, but God. Some of we take where people, man. We take where people land, but God. Any Christian there this morning, look at your neighbor and say, look for me now. Look for me now. Say, neighbor, take it back from God, man. Bishop, I got one more point. But me, I really pray. I'll do me a preach if we can't really set the other point. Number one, take it from politician. Number two, from gunman. Number three, we need to take the nation back from bad living church people. Listen to me. The Bible says, let your light that they may see. Bishop, if someone we did not live, we would not be have crusade. We would not be have road show. Our life would draw people to God. But the way some of us live, Shake three person around you, even if them bets touch your neighbor and say, Neighbor, if you are Christian, live right. If you are Christian, walk right. Some are afraid for the neighbor because you don't know them and know their life. Touch them and say, Neighbor, if you're safe, walk right. Live right. Talk right. Your life must draw people to God. Not your life, a church. Because some of we, holy Sunday morning or Saturday morning, when we put on the tie and put on the hat, but Monday morning, good God help us, Monday when we go work, Mm. some of us we can invite our co-workers to church because the way we live at work <laughs> me just spoil the message is your all 
on the altar. I challenge you this morning. My final point. If Jamaica is going to be blessed, you have to turn from sin. And sorry for some of us out here that our pastors and preachers and apostles and bishops and prophets, all we are preach is prosperity. And I tell people out there can't prosper. Listen, listen here. There is nothing in God's blessing plan for you until you turn your life over to Jesus. Somebody says something here. Somebody says something here. You got to come to Jesus. He has you come unto me. All oh, that labor and are heavy laden. And he said, I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. If you help me, I close in two minutes. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Bishop, one man, when he read the passage and the man read and realize what happened to him, the man said, I came to Jesus. As I was. Pastor, where as I was being, slim like call me the tongue. But I, I, I found in him where the church people and a resting place. And he, meaning with the songwriter, used to go bar. I mean, if him used to drink any CR, any, any. But the man said, I came to Jesus and I drank. Whew. Stop drink where you are drink. Because when you drink from where you're drinking, you're drunk. But the man said, I came to Jesus and I drank of that life giving stream. I want to see the Christian people them. Yeah. My thirst. Was help me, help me, help me. Come on, church. My thirst. Was Talk to your neighbor like you. Touch your neighbor and say, My thirst was quenched. My soul revived. And now, hallelujah. I live, I live, I live, I live. Anybody living in Jesus? Anybody living in Jesus? Touch your neighbor and say, Me, I live for Jesus. I'm living in Jesus. In Him we live and move. Jesus. Listen. Some church people behave like them live side of God and them determine who gets saved. But I want to pray. Just show your hands. Pastor, I am not saved. I am not a Christian. Lift up your hand. Make me see. We see some hand over post office. Can Bishop, we can call them a prayer for them. Yeah, we have right in this Those of you who live for beyond, Pastor, I'm not a Christian. Jesus pray for me. Come quick. Yes. Pray for me. Come. If you're in the line of post office, then we give back the line. Come. Pastor, me no save. Pastor, me no one dead and got hell. I mean, no say hell is real. Pastor, please pray for me. They're coming. They're coming. This is what Jamaica going to be blessed. TV. And he said, one more dead. 
My dad, for he turned on my TV. And here's the one more missing. It has been two years. A young lady from my church in Brownstone walk out to the yard. Her mother coming home. She going into the town. Her mother didn't see her. She saw her mother and didn't say anything. And it has been two years. Can't find her. Nobody in the know. But whatever has happened to her, I give God thanks that her life was hid with Christ in God. Pastor, if me a Christian, nothing not going to happen to me. Me not tell you that. But whatever happened to you, as long as you're serving God, hell and the devil can only touch this. But what inside of this? Bow your heads. We want to pray for you. Quick, we're going to pray because we have one more thing before we give up Bishop the mic. Quick, listen. Pray with me. And I don't want you to repeat this because pastor said, pastor is just helping you with this prayer. But when you pray, believe. You ready? Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask you to come into my life and forgive me. Lord, I confess that you are now Lord of my life. Thank you for your forgiveness in Jesus' name. How many of you pray the prayer and you believe what you just prayed? Let me see hands. Woo! All right, take your hand down. Let me take it a little further. How many of you just pray the prayer? Do you listen to the message and the songs and the music? Pastor, I want to give my life to Jesus right now. Lift up your hand. Where, where the church? Where the church? Somebody should have praise God. So. They, they have the counseling team is around you. They got trucks and everything that they're going to give to you. Take your name if possible. Jamaica full of church and Jamaica full of bar. If you give your life to Jesus and really decide to serve God, find a Bible believing church. Holy that sentence. But let me tell you where one is. I can only tell you where one is. Everybody know where the courthouse is, right? Everybody know where Ruby's gas station is, right? And there's a church behind the gas station lifeline. Everybody know where lifeline and right now we're having convention at Lifeline. I'm going to be preaching there tonight. So I'm inviting you with a lot of churches. Find a Bible-believing church and give your life to Jesus. Somebody praise God. Listen, I want us to give to this ministry this morning. Amen. Hello, let me repeat what I just said. I'm going to collect an offering this morning. Amen? To pack up these equipment from Portmore and reach Ochi to start 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, some, some of you still a snore. And we want to, we can't pay for this, but we want to be a blessing to the ministry. Amen, somebody? I want you to go in your wallet, go in your purse. Whatever you have. And there's an offer on the one we have. All over the place. Do y'all have another one? Come on. Come on, just come through. Tell somebody, excuse me. Come on, let's give to this ministry this morning. Let's tell the man of God, thank you for stopping in St. Anne's Bay.
Come on, they come in. Let's appreciate Bishop and the team. Good job. 